astronaut John H. Glenn Jr. goes into final rehearsal as the day approaches for America's first manned orbital flight, a flight that should put the United States on even terms with the Soviet Union in the space race. If all goes well, the 40-year-old Marine Colonel will ride the bell-shaped Mercury capsule around the Earth three times, streaking through space at 17,500 miles an hour. The capsule will be hurtled into the heavens by a mighty Atlas rocket. A failure in any one of the thousands of parts of the rocket could mean death for the red-headed test pilot who volunteered for space flight because of the challenge. Since December, Colonel Glenn has flown 60 theoretical missions around the Earth in a simulated capsule rehearsing every possibility that could be rehearsed. His capsule is jammed with nearly 200 instruments, lights and switches. He'll have to keep a sharp eye on all of them, even with the aid of mirrors attached to his wrists. If Colonel Glenn completes three orbits, the entire flight will take four and a half hours. The Soviets claim credit for the first manned flight with a single trip around the Earth by Yuri Gagarin in April 1961. Then Russia's Major Titov orbited the Earth 17 times last August. With his alternate astronaut, Navy Lieutenant Commander Carpenter at the left, Colonel Glenn tells how he feels about the success of the coming historical fight. Colonel Glenn, the question that most Americans are asking as this shot approaches is how safe will it be? What are your thoughts on the general safety of this particular shot? Well, I think those of us who have uh, lived very closely to the program for the last two and a half years, or all approaching three years now, have a great deal of confidence in the program. Uh, we have no illusions about the program, however. We realize that there may be a few more risks involved in something like this than just driving back and forth to work every day. But uh, we've taken every precaution we can take, and there has been uh, nothing spared trying to make this just as safe a mission as we possibly can make it. <laughs> 